People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. This is something that was brought up a few weeks back. It's related to transitosis and cardiovascular plaque. And this is just a little peek into the cellular metabolism and cellular components of how end products, cholesterol, enzymes, and all these molecules that are related to cardiovascular disease behave inside of the cells. So there's a major focus on the intima layer for the cardiovascular vessel permeability. So if you imagine an artery or a vessel, you will see that they have like this kind of blocks, brick layers that are side by side. They are usually united through these things called tight junctions. And we have talked about that in the past with the intestine layers that they're related or they're similar. But these are basically the side by side cellular components that are contributing to what a vessel is. And these are not just walls right there trying to avoid the blood to go out or go in. These are living parts of the body who have a specific functions and that need to maintain a balance between fluids and salt and electrolytes and other enzymes and they have metabolic process inside of them that help us maintain different functions. So these are complex process. We have talked in the past about the glycocalyx, which is basically this process, metabolic process outside uh, the surface of the cell. There are different products that are being built commenting that they can increase health of the glycocalyx, which gets impaired with hypertension and inflammation and insulin resistance. So when there is a injury of the glycocalyx that contributes to get movement from small dense LDL particles from the intima and they get stuck in the medial layer of the artery. And this is not only something that happens with LDL, this happens with other cholesterol particles and like ApoB or LP little a's or other markers there of inflammation. So the idea of what happens in transitosis is not like this cell gets ruptured or has holes in it. What happens is that inflammation increases the metabolic process, the rate of this metabolic process, and has part of this inflammation issue, the cellular mechanism called transitosis, which is basically pulling in these particles, gets increased. And that's why you see that you get LDL from inside the blood flow into the intima and then to the medial layer and it gets stuck in there. Now, this is partially the issue because we know that if we have LDL there, if we have cholesterol there, there's plaque that is gonna, going to be formed and then that plaque can get ruptured and produce a heart attack. But it's not only this accumulation of fat between the vessels, it's the inflammation that caused that accumulation, the real issue. So you can work yourself into trying to take out all this cholesterol but if there's still inflammation over there that's that that problem is gonna stay there so the root cause inflammation is what is causing this cholesterol to get stuck in there and that's why it's not only LDL the issue this is only a marker that is showing you that there's inflammation on those vessels and that's why this process of transitosis is getting increased and you are getting this fat components better said into your intima layer I hope I didn't butch it all, all too bad and was clear enough to understand understand how inflammation is provoking plaque into this cellular part of the vessels.